So today's little trip has brought us to Camp de Mar. So we're going to have a look to see what we can find. Oh, for any golfers amongst you, here's a golfing area. And a nice big driving range there in the distance for you to practice on. As you enter Camp de Mar, there is a large municipal car park, which today, which is October the 25th, 2020, uh, the municipal car park is empty. And even in the village itself, there's another free car park. Not many cars here today, next to a children's park, which because of the pandemic is closed, so we, children are not allowed to use that. Across the road, we have the restaurant, Maison El Quixote, uh, open, which is good to see. And got some good offers on there for breakfast and for lunch. Here is the Playa Campamar Hotel, but that unfortunately is closed. But across the road, we've got a couple of shops here which are open, which is nice. Anita's been gravitating towards them. Lovely walk down to the sea here. Uh, which is looking a little bit choppy. We've had a little bit of wind over the last day or two. Temperatures are great though, in the low twenties. Uh, perfect for walking. Uh, you can even have a little paddle in the sea. The end of October is traditionally the end of the season here in Mallorca and many of the hotels do close up. Uh, this hotel here right on the beach in Camp de Mar uh, has already closed up. I uh, don't know how long it's been closed, I'm not sure even if it's been open. Uh, but it's right on the beach. Here's the sea. See the waves clattering in. And what a beautiful view. One thing you see quite a lot of in Mallorca are sundials. Uh, and here's one set up in Camp de Mar, sundial. And, uh, well, you can have a look at it. It's, uh, it's saying it's... Um, about 10 o'clock, which is about right, about 10 o'clock in the morning here, October the 25th, 2020. Uh, and the hour did change yesterday. I don't know how they do that with one of these sundials. Do they actually move it around? No, I don't think so. Uh, but it's about right. So uh, this is the sundial in Camp de Mar. One of the things to look out for when you come to Camp de Mar is this restaurant, uh, which is on a little island just off the beach. Uh, and accessed by a, a rather rickety bridge uh, to the beach but as you can see the beach is totally deserted today nobody on the beach at all and the seaweed's piling up that helps to protect the sand so the sand doesn't get washed away uh, but it's a lovely bay and very popular in the summer And just looking west towards Andrach here is uh, the mountain before you get to Andrach. Andrach is on the other side of this hill. Uh, beautiful views. Great place to come. It's a little promenade in front of the hotel. Walk along some nice benches. Sit out. Watch the excitement of the sea bashing against the rocks. Some beautiful houses over there in the distance. Must have some fantastic views looking over this bay. This is like the second bay from Camp de Mar. And there would normally be parasols out here. There would be beach lounges, uh, but at the moment there's nothing. But still very, very beautiful. You might uh, see on the, in the distance on the hillside, there's some cranes there, some buildings still going on. As you look round to the, the headland, very unspoiled, beautiful rocky scenery. This is part of Camp de Mar I've never been to before. 
uh, this little promenade just going by the sea We've come to the end of this little promenade uh, but at the end of the promenade we have this wonderful view over the Bay of Campdamar. No boats out there today, it's a little bit rough, a little bit breezy but the sea is really wonderful, really exciting today, bashing against the rocks. So at the end of this there are some steps to go up to and that will take us back up into Camp de Mar. Oh, a nice few steps there to walk up. And an amazing view. So we'll just head back down into the village now. Just look as though some of the bars and restaurants are open here. Uh, it is early on a Sunday morning, so you wouldn't expect them to be open now. But uh, this one looks as though it's opening up later on. Tables and chairs are out here, so it doesn't look as though they've closed up for the season yet. This is the spa supermarket. Sunday morning, might not expect it to be open. Many of the towns and villages in Parma have facilities for sports, which are well done, well kept, well run. Here's one which is a multi-purpose playing area. Got basketball. Uh, Fukbito and even more desk places next to it tennis next door now we're going to walk down now to to the beach to have a look a little bit more closely at the beach there we've got here we've got the pharmacy and the medical practice another restaurant upstairs I'm not sure about that one don't think it's open and just walking down here's a little torrente where if there's a storm, the water will come down to the sea. And as you can see today, it's as dry as a bone. We're not had any rain for a while. So, no water in the Torrente. <laughs> any shops that were down here are all closed now for the winter season. This is the west side of the Camp de Mar beach and there you can see the restaurant on the island and a lovely empty beach here and it is quite a pleasant day other than a little bit of breeze uh, some people just arrived to take a kayak out and we've seen one or two people out there who are doing some fishing uh, but very few people here very deserted uh, and we have noticed one bar, so we're going to see if we can get a coffee uh, and, uh, before we go home. So I hope you've liked this video. Uh, if you have, please give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see some more, just hit the subscribe button down in the bottom right-hand corner. See you in the next video. Bye.